Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in another video today. And today we're going to be recapping today's NBA games. As there were quite a few NBA games today, there were 13 games on today's schedule, with only two being on yesterday's schedule. Quite a few games being played today, and some interesting ones. You got multiple teams clinching playoffs. I already did a video about the teams that clinch playoffs and play in and stuff like that. I'll go quick recap. Knicks clinch playoff berth, Raptors clinch playoff. Uh, Play, play in birth and then the Pacers and the Wizards were both eliminated from everything play in and um, playoffs so let's go into the first game of today was the Raptors and the Hornets which the Raptors with this win clinch play in birth um, well also they needed a um, they also needed a Nets win which that happened too the Raptors win 128 to 108 um 20 sorry 36 for pascal siakam seven rebounds and seven assists and 23 for og ananobi and fred van vliet with a huge game 20 points and 20 assists 2020 game for fred van vliet um then you got the bulls and the grizzlies the bulls get the win 128 to 107 31 for demar de rosen 36 for zach levine and then for the Grizzlies, 31 for jaron jackson jr and a triple double for john morant 17 and 17 10 and 10 then the nets jazz game this was a really close intense last three minutes in this game nets held hold on um an intense final seconds down to the last play jazz had an incredible fourth quarter and uh, outscoring the nets 42 to 26 mikhail bridges scores 30 cam johnson scores 18 and then for the jazz marketing scores 23 taylor horton tucker scores 32 and the nets hold on barely 111 to 110 then you got the biggest upset of this whole day 107 to 105 this was i i, I can't remember what i read about this game but this was like the like one of the most games like in a while that you know the team that was supposed to win by a big number lost that bad um but or whatever i read i can't remember what i ex read exactly but this was a huge bad beat um today blazers win 107 to 105 anthony edwards has 37 points for the blazers you have 27 for shane sharp he's been he's been really well ever since damian lillard and, and um and anthony simons were shut down for the rest of the season he's been really well shane sharp has been balling um and then that was it for them. Ooh, someone else had some. No, never mind. I thought someone. It was Kevin Knox had nineteen. That's what I was looking at. And one of the best games for today. The Mavericks' hopes are keep falling down. As of I read this, I saw this thing on TikTok earlier, and it was February tenth. The Mavericks had a ninety six percent chance to make the playoffs. The record was thirty one and twenty six after just beating the Sacramento Kings. Now with one week left in the season. Um, exactly. One week left in the season. The Mavericks have an eight percent chance to make the playoffs. So hopes are falling dramatically for the Dallas Mavericks as they lose this game in overtime, one thirty two to one thirty. They had a shot. They got a they got a second chance of life tonight with a foul committed by the Atlanta Hawks with O point four of a second in this game. JaVale McGee goes to the line down by one, misses the first free throw, makes the second. This game goes to overtime. And the Hawks get the win in overtime. 132 to 130. Mavis had a last shot, couldn't get it in. Leading score for them is DeJounte Murray, 25 points. Trey Young with 24 points and 12 assists. And then for the Dallas Mavericks, 41 for Kyrie Irving, 22 for Luka Doncic. JaVale McGee, the guy who is the reason they went to overtime, 11 points and 6 rebounds. Christian Wood with also 18 points and 11 rebounds. Hopes are falling for the Dallas Mavericks. Then you got another overtime game, and you would think that the biggest upset would be this one, not the other one, but the Spurs beat the Kings in overtime, 142 to 134. Um, Kings win... Sorry, sorry. Uh, mix of words there. Um, Kings with Darian Fox, 28 points. Sabonis with 28 and 8 and 6. Keegan Murray with 18. And then for the San Antonio Spurs, 30 for Doug McDermott. And then 26 for Julian Chim Chimpain. I don't know. I probably said that wrong. And then the Knicks, Wizards. Knicks get the win, 118 to 109. Clinch playoff berth with the win. Wizards are eliminated with the loss. 27 for Quentin Grimes. 27 for Jalen Brunson. 22 for Emmanuel Quickly. Then for the Wizards, 29 for Corey Kispert. Then moving on to the Magic, Pistons Magic are keeping their season alive. The 128-102 win over the Pistons, 14-9 for Paulo Bancaro. 
and 16 for Franz Wagner for the Pistons. Early in scores 20 for Killian Hayes and 19 for Armour Rai. And that's it for that game. And then Lakers Rockets already did a post game on this because I'm a Rockets fan, but the Lakers win 134 to 109. Uh, Jalen Green scores 24 points. KPJ has 20. Alp has 18 f- and 15. And then for the Lakers, 40 and 9 for Anthony Davis. A triple double for LeBron. 18, 10, and 11. And 20 for Rui Hachimura. A really good showdown between the Suns and the Thunder. Suns win 128 to 118. You got a duel between Kevin Durant and Shea Gilles Alexander. Kevin Durant has 35. Shea Gilles Alexander has 39 for the Suns. Also, Devin Booker had 22 and 10. Chris Paul had 16. DeAndre Aiden had 19 and 11 for the Thunder. Besides Shea's 39, 16, 9, and 8 for Giddy, near triple double, and 14 for Lou Dort. Then, two of the best teams in the East. Match up, match up against each other, and the Bucks kind of had their way with this one. One seventeen, one hundred four. Bucks beat the Sixers. You got uh, Giannis going for thirty three, fourteen and six. Twenty one for Brooke Lopez and nineteen for Chris Middleton. Then for the seventy Sixers, twenty nine for Tyrese Maxey, twenty eight for Joel Embiid, and James Harden struggles with eleven points. Then Cavaliers, Pacers, Cavaliers eliminate the Indiana Pacers with this win, and. With a 115 105 win. Uh, 40 for Donovan Mitchell in his last three games. He has 44, 42, and 40. He's been going off recently. Um, that's really good for the playoffs. Evan Mobley had 14 and 16. Jared Allen had 15. And Darius Garland had 20. 15 for Karis Avert off the bench as well. For the Pacers, their leading scorer is Benedict Majerin with 19 and 9. And Jordan Awar with 15 and 10. Then the final game, the Golden State Warriors and the Denver Nuggets. The Warriors' horrible road record is now, what, 9 and 30 or 9 and 29. Um, and you've never seen a defi- – this is the worst – time a defending champion has had this bad of uh, the worst the worst record road record a, def- a defending champion has ever had in nba history it's been awful i mean i just don't i don't understand i know a lot of other people don't understand how a championship team or how any team could really you know be that bad um on the road uh, as they lose 110 to 112 steph curry had 21 points um and Clay Thompson had twenty five. I don't know the I I can't the the Nugget scores aren't popping up, but um yeah so good one for the Nuggets. That was right down to the end as well. Uh, at least the Warriors were close in that one, I guess. But that's the only good side of it. But the, going into the playoffs, being nine and twenty nine for the Warriors is not a good thing. Um, so they're gonna have to definitely figure that out in the playoffs because right now the Warriors it's not like they have home field advantage. They don't they don't have home advantage right now. Um, they're the six seed, and it would be a difference if you know they're the four seed and they'd have like you think about this. They're going to be a six seed, and if in a seven game series, the other team's going to have more games at home than they will. So if a if if a game is going into a seven game series, the Warriors things are not looking great for the Warriors. So um, yeah, you guys have your thoughts um, on today's games? A lot of games, a lot of action. Um, it's gonna be a last. It's gonna be a really fun last week in the NBA, and then going into the plan, and then eventually into the playoffs. Plan is from the season ends on the ninth. Plan is from the eleventh to the fourteenth, and then fifteenth is when the playoffs start. You guys, have your thoughts on today's games, and that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.